Oh, well, greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. And I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion. And this is Kingdom Come Deliverance. And right now, our objective is to find a shovel um, so that we can bury our folks. I would like to think that there's a shovel up by the blacksmith. Like, my parents probably had a shovel around. Um, but I know already that that's not the case. Those old boots are not worth very much. That guy doesn't have any loot on him. Um, let me know down in the comments if it bothers y'all that I, uh, kind of spoil things by knowing what's up already. I'm not even going to start with picking flowers. I mean, I assume that y'all have either uh, played the game quite a bit yourselves, or at the very least you've uh, watched other people play the game. And so I don't expect that I'm opening... I'm running into any new territory for you folks. So, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, if it is all new to you, then congratulations, and I am pleased to be the one to bring it to you. Um, absolutely. I love this game so much, it's, uh, ridiculous. For having played it as little as I have, I just love it. Everything about it is everything that I want in a video game. RPG elements, medieval setting, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Alright, so we can hear the dog. Get away, you mutt! Get away, you beast! What's going on? Mishak? I, I thought that was him. Doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! Isn't that the butcher's thing? No. Isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? I think it's pretty obvious. The dog's protecting I'd say his master. the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing? What are you doing? I mean, we do look pretty intimidating in full armor garb right now. I asked what you're doing here. How about you give me an answer? All right. If I want to confess, I'll go to the priest. Go away and leave me in peace. Oh, you're a poet, and you didn't even know it. Oh. Okay, we did uh, gain his success there, but it's clear that his uh, intimidation is higher than mine for some reason. Do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? Your Teresa? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her, and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. Huh. How did you manage to get away? How do you think? I ran. Same. Same. Would you lend me that spade? I have to dig a grave, and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? He's not very good at haggling. I can, uh, I can tell. My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead. And dig that grave with your sword. See how that goes. Guy's not very agreeable. And where will either. you dig it anyway? Here. You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to continue to be kind and see if he'll try Father to understand. Father said he wanted to be buried here, and I can't take them to St. James's. God willing, later I can find a priest to consecrate the ground. 
Uh, apparently I can't continue to be kind to him. I've interrupted you robbing the dead. Is that why you're so ill-tempered? You bastard. Haven't you got a shred of honor? And what of it? The butcher has no more need of corn. And now that I think of it, your sword would do me quite nicely as well. Will you hand it over without a fuss, or do you want to end up like the butcher here? The only way you'll touch this sword oh, I still is gained a I'll success, shove it in though. your guts. Wow, he's quick. He's quicker when it glitches, too. Oh, I tried to... We to take care of here first. Okay. God, how I wish to be gone from this place. It's not gonna let me out. But first, I must bury my parents. That's a shame. I was hoping to at least get into a fist fight with him and try to knock him out. Because I know where he goes and what he does. Any way that I could try to trick the game a little. Would be pretty fortunate. Poor doggo. Hey, buddy. He doesn't seem to mind that I get in here, so let's go ahead. Oh, wow. That spade is very heavy. You know what, though? I think, because I know what's coming up, I'm just going to take all the stuff. Okay. I know I can't run or sprint anymore. But I'm just going to take all that stuff, because it's, it's all good things. Especially the Groshen. I'm not super skilled with these yet. Uh, oh, here it is, right next to the thing. Oh. Nice, nice. Oh man, I didn't expect to do that well. Henry's beta die. A playing die that Henry secretly made to bring him luck in love, which is why he'd rather not use it to gamble with. Oh, speaking of dice, too, I noticed when I was editing uh, the video that there was a guy sitting at the dice table um, at the very, very beginning of the game. I wonder if it would have been possible for me to win money from him um, as a way to make money, you know, to pay for all of the stuff at the beginning. Um, also, I think I already mentioned Kunesh's pants were worth quite a lot. Like, this is a good place. I could have taken those You're for the same like thing. You. It's a shallow grave so far. I wonder too if it was customary to bury couples together. I don't personally see anything wrong with that. And I think being buried underneath a tree is absolutely fantastic. I can't imagine any more uh, beautiful burial than that. If I wasn't buried underneath a useful plant, I would prefer to be cremated than just stuck in a casket in a vault under a ground. Let's get to it. Personally. Of course, when I was very young, I used to fantasize about being uh, preserved into a chess set, like a giant chess set, man-sized. I wanted to be uh, placed in the Black King. Yep. I always pictured that as being super awesome. My wife was going to be the queen, and then we were going to have enough children to uh, cover all the pawn pieces. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oversharing a little bit here, but... Damn it all. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? Who are you? Uh -oh. What do you want? Spishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> A 
It's a big club. We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt! I cut the bastard down! As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! Now I really don't think there's any way to win this. It doesn't mean I'm not going to give it uh, the old college try. I can't run. It wouldn't let me sprint. I was trying to run away and pull my bow. I was hoping I could cheese it at least a little bit, get a couple of shots in, but it would not I allow me to sprint. How it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. A little rat is a big hick is uh, on my, in my black book now. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you help forge. Hey, go fuckers! Oh, it's Teresa. <laughs> Save him alive. The games are over. Got him. I just realized why I couldn't sprint. I was picking up all that stuff at the end saying, oh, I can't, uh, I can't leave this behind. So I was overburdened. It wasn't the game that wouldn't allow me to sprint. It was, uh, yeah, I was overburdened.
Hmm. I notice I'm wearing my green jerkin again. They must have taken all of the the guard equipment. Either that or that's just part of the um, cinematic. Ooh. What? Where am I? What's going on? Ah! Just vanish. I saved you. Never fear. Where are my parents? Where are they? We need to save them too. Ah, the Millers. I'm excited about that. Do you need some help? It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? He was probably in a coma. <laughs> Back in those days, they would have never known. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to loot the bodies. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. You've oh. just been sitting there watching me sleep? Oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. That is pretty lucky. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. He doesn't love her uncle? No, there isn't. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. A I'm a rude. different person now. Hmm. Ouch. He sounds... Yeah. Hmm. That's a rough, uh... A rough outlook to have, for sure. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, main level? I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. 
Oh man, she's super kind for all this, for sure. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? <laughs> Ugh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Reasonable, for sure. He doesn't remember where he is. And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rete Mill, my uncle's miller Peshek. He took me in, and I talked him into taking care of you too. Awesome. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig, and I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you, and for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better I'm glad he explains what a fortnight than an eternity is. In the grave. <laughs> A lot of people don't If it don't weren't know. for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Oh, good. Game saved. And we can save our game anytime we want. Uh, we have an ender chest here. So yeah, see we can um, cook item. So this is a mushroom here. Okay. So now is it just a cooked mushroom? Yeah, it is indeed. Okay, so we ate from the pot. It makes a really disgusting sound. Do we have the option to eat from it again? No. So I, I probably will need to eat some foods. Um, we want to look at the condition and eat the stuff. Oh, here we go. Okay. So two nourishment, but no energy. This gives us um, energy and the durability is two days here while these are only one. So I was correct in, in thinking about that. So our energy is 59. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can cook all of these I want to try to fix this, so let's hang on to it. We should be all set now. Hey. I think. Um, so they have a scythe too. I can't do anything about that. I don't think it washes my clothes uh, when I wash myself. But I was wrong. It actually does. Okay, so we need to talk to Miller Peshek first. Uh, see if we can do anything about paying him back. Here he is. If you don't know about it, um, the Millers are basically you, young the Thieves Guild of this RPG, and it's super awesome. So of course I'm getting involved. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the Miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. Indeed. And talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you hey, prove to me I'm not just any lad, fool. I might trust you with something you could really make money from. I'm an epic fool. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone <laughs> and bring it to someone else. You're so nonchalant. And not get caught while you're doing it. Okay. That, that okay. sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. 
Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? Of course, no not. honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Okay. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet, along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? Is nothing sacred to you. <laughs> Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. That's right. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. That's also it's true. still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? There you go. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. <laughs> Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. Okay. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Makes sense. Makes sense. I got schnapps. Is that regular schnapps? Pretty sure it is. Because otherwise I think it would tell me, uh, save your schnapps. Try unlocking this trunk. Oh, okay. This is an easy one here. Hold the lockpick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumble. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock to play. But don't stop holding the tumble of the hit. Otherwise, you forced oh. it and broke the lockpick. Oh, man. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. Oh, man. It really, really feels sensitive when it's out on the outside here. There You're we go. Tap hand, pal. Make something out of you yet. But remember, this trunk's only for practice. With real locks, you have to watch out for Okay. Quite a few more times, if you like. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Oh, they've got sweet pancakes here, too. That I should probably take. It doesn't say steel. So I'll grab hold of these to eat later. I'll bet those reduce your energy like crazy. Oh. All right. Let's just see what they've got in here, though. Bandages and hides. Okay. Okay. So now we're ready to um, go to the next place. Let's see quickly uh, how my skills are with picking locks. Two. When do we get a perk at? Level three. Where can I find a shovel? There's one right outside, leaning against the cart. Excellent. Um, that cart? I assume he means this cart. Yes? No? This cart. That other one's a wagon, clearly. Clearly. Okay, so I'm sure that we have several objectives right now. Cool. Um, we also have fast travel market. Wow, Tom Tomberg is a long ways away. Rovna, the same. Galitz, we're way down south now. Um, which is no big deal. Dead Man's Ring. Do we want to do that immediately? So I wonder, it said they'll last uh, twice as long. I wonder if 
They take damage with every lock that you pick, regardless of where, whether you're successful or not. Oh, 200 Groshen? Of course I will. That was an easy, easy one. Oh no. Oh, that was close. Close. I mean... I'm probably going to need the bandages, you know? Uh, that's something that they can get pretty easy, I'm sure. Because I can. But that's cool, yes. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go uh, have a nap, save the game, and then we will go see the Executioner um, in the next episode, for sure. So, if you want to catch that episode, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all. Farewell. <laughs>